Welcome to learn about calendars and we are going to learn how to find the day on any given date. Now to find the day on any given date our aim should be to find the number of odd days and once we know the number of odd days then we can easily find out the, the day of the week from this table. You see these are number of odd days and these are days of the week. Now if the number of odd days is 0 then the day will be Sunday and if the number of odd days is 1 then the day will be Monday and similarly we can say for the other days of the week. Now we come to the question. Now to find the day on this date our aim is to find the number of odd days for this date. Now there are few steps which you must follow to find the number of odd days for a given date. Now the first step is we have to make two parts from this given year. You see we have given this date and we have to find the day on this date and in this date we have given this year. Now you always first of all look at this year and we will make we will make two parts from this year and how we get these two parts you see these are the two parts which we have to make from this given year now if you notice this year the second part is similar to the given year 2016 and 2016 and if you notice again this first part which is 2015 is one less than the given year so how we make two parts? The second part must be same to the given year and first part must be one less than the given year. Now we have two parts. Now as I said before our aim is to find the number of odd days for this date. Now we have divided this date into two parts. Okay and we will now we will find the number of odd days for these two parts. What is? That is number of odd days for these two parts. Now we will talk about this second part later. First we find the number of odd days for the first part. Now, now what we have to do next? We have to divide this year 2015 into two years. You see 2015. Now how to divide this 2015 into two years? If you add these two years 2015 you will get this 2015. So we can say that some of these two years make this first part. Now how to get these two parts or two years. Now if you notice this 2000 is a maximum century which is available in this first part which in the that is 2015. Now you must remember that this first year which we have got from this 2015 have two qualities. It is a maximum century which is available in 2015 and it is also a leap century or we can say it is a leap year. So you have to divide this 2015 or first part such that we will get here a maximum century or and it must also be a leap year and the remaining year will be written here. That is 15 here. Now we have divided this first part and there are no century in the second part. You see here are no century in it. So now we will find the number of odd days for these two parts. Now if you see a century and a leap year has zero odd day. As we have seen before a century and a leap year has zero odd day. So we can say that it is also a century and it is also a leap year. So it will have zero odd day. Okay. It will have zero number of odd days. Now we have to find the number of odd days for 15. We have find out the number of odd days for this part. And now we have to find the number of odd days for 15 years. Now to find the number of odd days for 15 years. We proceed to this box. You see here. Now first we, we come to know how many years in these 15 years are leap year. Now we divide these 15 years by 4. 
then the quotient will be 3 so 3 years are leap years in this 15 years and we know that years which are not leap years are ordinary year now if you minus these 3 leap years from total 15 years then we will get 12 which is number of ordinary years so we have 3 leap years and 12 ordinary years in this total 15 years now we also know that a leap year has two odd days and an ordinary year has one odd day so we can say that a leap year has two odd day so three leap years will have six odd days and 12 ordinary years will have 12 odd days so total we have 18 odd days so we can say that for this 15 years we have total 18 odd days now we add these two odd number of odd days 0 plus 18 and we find total 0 number 18 odd days so for this part we have 18 odd days now we also know that number of odd days can only be from 0 to 6 value so 18 is not the correct value of number of odd days so we divide it by 7 and the remain, remainder will be 4 so these are the correct number of odd days since we know number of odd days can only be from 0 to 6 so for first part we have known number of odd days are 4 for this first part now we come to second part now you see we have given this date when you come when you come to second part you consider this date now we have to find the number of odd days for this part or we can say we have to find the number of odd days in this year 2016 until the date which is given to us 18th March 2016 so now for the second part we have to find the number of odd days from 1 January 2016 to 18th March 2016 you see we have given this date and we have to find the number of odd days for this year until this date which is given to us now so so we start from 1st January 2016 to to the given date 18th March 2016 now to to find the number of odd days in from this date to this date first we find the number of total days from this date to this date so we write first from 1st January to 18th March how many days are there from 1st January to 18th March so we write January February March January have 31 days and since 2016 it is a leap year 2016 is a leap year so we write February as 29 days and March so in March we have given the date 18th March so we have to find the days until 18th March so we write under March only 18 and total number of days we have is 78 now to find the number of odd days we divide it by 7 so we will get remainder 1 and these are the number of odd days so we can say that for this second part we have find out the number of odd days that is 1 now we have find out the number of odd days for first and second part and we will add the number of odd days for these two parts so you see in first part we have 4 number of odd days and second part we have 1 number of odd days so total we have total number of odd days we have 4 plus 1 5 so we can say that for this date we have find out total number of odd days are 5 now if you see we have discussed previously that we can find the num day of the week from this table now we have find number of odd days are 5 so here we see 5 this is the 5 and day under 5 is Friday so we can say that the day which we have got from number of odd days which is 5 is Friday so we can say that the day on this date is Friday 